a taste of goodness okay guys welcome and welcome back to my channel this is vanel cooks and today i'll be sharing the recipe for the super super delicious assorted pasta now this recipe is super simple very easy to make and super super quick okay so if this sounds like something you're interested in please do the needful so we can get to it have you done it good let's get right to it y'all Alrighty, so for our ingredients today for our protein we have some beef we have sausages and some chicken yes also we have some beef stock we have some tomato puree and for our vegetables i have some ginger green and yellow bell peppers some carrots onion and garlic and for pasta today i'll be using this pearl pasta but you can use any pasta of choice getting started i just added some hot water to my pot next i added my pasta some salt to taste and bring to a boil for just about seven minutes cover your pasta halfway so it doesn't boil over if you cover it completely like i did it's gonna boil over and you don't want it let's prep our veggies for today's recipe we are using some sweet bell peppers carrots and onions i just chose to use these vegetables because first of all we eat with our eyes okay and the green and yellow bell peppers and the carrots actually have vibrant colors so they make the meal more appetizing so you already enjoy the meal with your eyes even before you start getting to it now that is just one reason another reason is that um the bell peppers are very very rich in vitamins they are super good for you okay especially the red bell peppers i think but i'm not so sure you can google it but i didn't have red bell peppers at the time so i made do with what i had so you can make do with what you have too okay yes now always remember to eat your veggies so incorporate as much vegetables as you can in your pasta just go ahead and cut them into preferable shapes and sizes and forms and get them ready okay so let's do just that you know pasta is a little bit on the not so healthy side but these vegetables are going to make it balanced okay yes you can use the exact same ones i used or you can use whichever vegetable you prefer okay it will work just fine yes 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 i just checked you guys and the red bell peppers truly have the most nutrition out of all the bell peppers and compared to the green bell peppers the red ones have 11 times more beta carotene and 1.5 times more vitamin c than the green bell peppers so if you have the red bell peppers go for it okay so this is a beautiful array of vegetables uh -huh. oh my god okay so next up we're going to go ahead and prep our meat so i'm just going to cut them into smaller bits you can cut them into bigger chunks or smaller chunks if you prefer but i just want mine so small that i can get them together with my pasta or my fork at once okay so yes but you can cut them into any sizes that you prefer yeah so now i'm just cutting my chicken as well mm, it looks so good oh my god so we have our sausages our meat and our chicken oh my goodness okay, so it's been about seven minutes and our pasta is ready so i'm just heating up some oil and then i'm going to go ahead and give my sausages a nice browning okay i'm going to fry it just like so look at that it looks so good oh my god look at that yes so we are just next we are going to go ahead and fry our chicken and our beef Mm -hmm. it smells so good in here right now okay so while the chicken and the beef is doing its own thing i'm going to go ahead and grate one clove of garlic and some ginger okay 
but if you have a garlic powder ginger powder and onion powder you can just go ahead and use those okay it will be just fine but I want to kind of intensify the taste so yeah I want them raw like this but yeah I'll still add some ginger powder you know I like ginger okay I overdo everything with ginger so yeah okay so yeah our meat is looking so so good yes yeah, so we're going to get it out of the fryer now because you know we've achieved the color and the texture we were going for so next up I'm just adding some of the oil we use to fry the meat meat because it is super flavorful and I'm going to go ahead and add my chopped up onions and let that fry in there for just about two minutes you know and then I go ahead and add my carrots because they are much harder than the rest of the vegetables just so they can you know soften up slightly before I introduce my peppers okay so next I just added my garlic and ginger paste that I just grated mm, it smells heavenly you guys I'm going to go ahead and add my yellow bell peppers and green bell peppers give that a quick quick mix now we want our vegetables to still be crunchy when we are enjoying our pasta okay so you don't have to keep them on the fire for a very long time okay so now I just added my tomato puree or tomato paste this one in particular has onions in it so I didn't really need you know the onion paste but if you have your onion powder just toss that in there and you are good to go okay give that a good good mix I don't know if you can tell that I keep moving my frying pan from side to side because I don't want the heat of the fire to be concentrated on one side which might make the vegetables on that side soggy and we do not want that so I just added some more beef stock some ginger powder because oh, why not <laughs> okay yes give that a good good mix and it should be ready for your pasta yes so here we are adding our pasta and the the meal is pretty much ready okay we are pretty much close we are so close to finally setting our table so I'm just going to give that a thorough mix make sure everything gets to every inch of the pasta and then come in with our meat and sausages proteins basically and give that a good good mix as well and left some of the vegetables just so that you can have some crunch if you let your vegetables stay on there for a very long time okay so step and enjoy oh my goodness are you seeing what i'm seeing guys it smells so so good i am not even kidding right now it smells so good and it tastes super super incredible i wish y'all could have a taste of this i am not even playing okay so you can enjoy this as a main meal or you can even enjoy it as a side you can add it to some rice and enjoy with some stew completely up to you okay it's versatile and can be enjoyed in a variety of ways thank you so much for cooking with me today i really do hope you enjoyed yourself because i sure did enjoy the cooking myself until i see you next time bye